Hello everyone. Hi. So let's try to book a exam of IELTS. So in this video, I'll be telling you that how you can book your IELTS exam. So for that, you need to have some details. So I've already shared some details like on the screen, as you can see now. Like you can see, these details are there. So these are the login details of IELTS exam booking. So whenever you'll be booking the IELTS exam, you need to first of all log into the portal of IDP. Now, how to log in on the portal of the IDP? These are the details which are being shared with you. You need to have a login ID and you should need to have a password, so which is displayed on the screen. This will be sending you to WhatsApp, and then what you'll be doing is you'll be just clicking the link which is there in the sheet. Now I'll be telling you now I've clicked this link, so let's see what happens. So now I place this link here and now see what will happen. Now you can see that, that the portal is demanding for a login. So what you'll be doing is you'll be putting the same login details here, which I've already stored here. And then these are the logins which I've shared. And now you need to press the submit button. Now after this, there will be a screen which will be opening in front of you. Now this screen, as you can see, is the original test booking screen. So on the top left corner, you can see that there is a candidate registration. <clears throat> you need to select this. And then further, you have to select a test in this particular page, in the next page. So here we'll be selecting our test. There are various types of papers are there, various types of exams are there. As you can see, we need a pen and paper based IELTS. So we are going to book this. So we'll be selecting pen and paper based IELTS. Then test module, either academic or GT, that is general training. Academic is for going abroad for studies and GT is for permanent settlement, immigration, all these things. So we'll be booking an academic exam. Then select your city. So now I'm selecting Noida. Okay. And then I'll be pressing book now. Now in this page, you can see there are various options of uh, like uh, are there. On the left hand side, there are pen and paper based aisles. I mean, these are the free dates. So the green one is a free date here. So you can book your test date you can buy sell by selecting this green and this on the right hand side is for IELTS on computer. So be very careful with this page. You have to select either pen and paper based test, paper based test IELTS or IELTS on computer. So I'm selecting this 27. This 27 date is good. 27th April. Now after selecting here, it will be shown that 27 April is available. So if available, then they'll be telling you the price. So the price is 17,000. <coughs> now I'm going to book it. Let's press back book now. OK, now it will be asking me for the uh, various types of details like my personal details. So I'll be sharing my details here. So first of all, I have to select the title. Then I'll be writing my name. For example, it's Rohit. So all caps is better. Last name, then email ID. Email ID is like uh, I'll be putting my email ID for example. Then I have to put my number. Then I have to put a passport number, my own passport number. Then I have to give the validity of this password. So, so it is like for example. Then the date of birth, so I'll be writing. Okay. Then after filling in these details, what you'll be doing is, you will be filling these details and then you'll be moving on to the proceed button. So click it. Please accept the terms and condition. Okay. Then proceed. 
Okay, this email ID is in use, so I'll be sharing another one. Okay, give me one minute. That is, I'm sharing. Okay, let's see. Okay, now the next page has opened. So in this case, you'll be doing what? You'll be confirming the email again. So we'll be writing info dot. It asks for a confirmation again. Then you have to confirm the mobile number also. Telephone number is optional. It's not important. Then you have to pull your address. So I put your address here. And then further, the city that is I've written, then your state I've written, then your pin code. Written it. Now nationality India 089 code. Then first language. First language is my Hindi. So I'll be writing 049 Hindi. Then occupation sector is like for example education. Then why you are taking this test? So I'm taking this test for higher education extended course three months or more. Which country you are applying to or intending to go? I'm trying for Canada. OK, what are your? <clears throat> where are you studying current English? It is not important. Now the next is how many years have you been studying English? So it is nine or more. Then further. Your occupation level on the right hand side. So occupation level is, for example, it's a employee at middle or junior level. Then what level of education you've completed, degree or equivalent? Now there are various options. If you've done post graduation, you can then you can select post graduation. So I'm selecting degree and equivalent in this case, and I'll be checking it again because it cannot be changed again. So be very careful. <coughs> Let's see. OK, I've checked the details. <coughs> now let's go ahead. And submit. OK, it's asking for a phone number. So I'll be putting that phone number again. The same mobile number. Let's see. Submit. OK, so now I'm on the third step that is document upload. So now, as you can see, the details are displayed over on the top. Now you have to choose a passport copy. Now you have to upload the first <coughs> page of passport copy here by choosing this file. So you'll be choosing this file and you'll be using any the document which is there. OK, so in this case, my case, I would be using this. For example, I have chosen this. Now you have to choose a first page of the passport and the last page of the passport. OK, so I'm selecting another document, which is for last page of the passport. For example, you have to keep it ready before you book the first page separately in a PDF and the second page of the uh, or the last page of the passport copy. The first page and the past last page of the passport copy should be uh, I mean you should be taking a photograph separately then you should be keeping it OK, so make it uh, convert it into PDF and then further you can use it. OK, so let's see. So upload payment slip is not required. Declaration you'll be getting on exam center, so there is no need to fill that and no need to upload that. So only passport. First page and the passport last page you are going to upload in a PDF form then upload. We're clicking the button upload and then it's done. So now they are asking for RO details. What is RO details? It is nothing. You, know, you just need to do one thing. You just need to skip it. No need to know more about it. It's not important. Then review. This is the last review which you need to make before payment and it's very, very important. You cannot edit after this. So it's very, very important that you should check your things very carefully. So in this case, I'm checking it. Focus, okay, so I've checked it. And then you'll be moving to proceed to pay. 
or either you can go to edit details and you can edit it. Okay, now proceed to pay. And as you can see, the details are there. Test date, type academic, payment reference number. Test fee is 17,000 rupees. And you can make it to online or net banking or UPI. So you can select. I'm selecting like for example, anything powered by AGFC or HSBC, it's okay. It doesn't make any difference, pay now. So now it will be taking me to a payment option. And from here, I can easily make the payment, right? So this is how you can book your IELTS exam online. The moment you'll be booking it, you will be getting uh, an email ID, uh, sorry, an email from the IDP, and it will be delivered to you within, I would say, uh, some 15 to 20 minutes, you'll be getting a mail ID. So mail, mail confirming that, yes, we have received your payment and your exam is booked for so-and-so date. And you'll be soon be getting, you know, the another mail also before the exam, like one week prior to the exam, you'll be getting a speaking details. Because the exam which you have booked, that is for 27th April. But in this case, you will be getting your speaking two to three days prior to it or one day prior to it. But the details of the same venue and timing will be sent to you almost seven days prior to your main exam. Main exam means listening, reading and writing. This is called as a main exam. And one week prior to it, you'll be getting the uh, exam details for the speaking. OK, so this is all about IELTS booking. OK, thank you everyone. So I'm now leaving. Thank you.